Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. There is a tag video. I got tagged by We Love Comics. He came up with this topic. It's an awesome thing to make a video and have these tag videos for the community to make some sweet content for each other. So if you're watching this, you're tagged, but I'm going to tag specifically four people. Automatic Comics, Geek Aficionado, Double A Comics, and Comics with Bonics. I think you guys have pretty vast collections and a lot of slabs so hopefully you guys will participate if I didn't mention your name please make a video this would be a lot of fun I got tagged by the originator we love comics it's to show your graded comic book collection by grade so do you have a 0.5 do you have a 1.0 show those books this should be a lot of fun so hopefully you guys are excited here we go A big shout out and thanks to Shortbox who sponsors my channel. They are the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below for Apple and Android devices. Definitely use that link. It really does help out this channel. All right, so I've got a piece of paper and I've already marked off the first four because I don't have a 0 0.5, a 1.0, a 1.5, or a 1.8. And you may be thinking, well, Alex, I saw your video of your top 50 books in your collection and you definitely have a 1.8. Well, I used to have a 1.8. And I don't anymore. I have got something else in its in its place. Whether it's a comic book or something else, I've got something else. Trust me. One of these days, I'll reveal, like, I got the All-Star 8, but I also got something else really, really big. The first one on the list is this Flash 110. I got it from Good Old Comics on Facebook. They do Facebook um, auctions. And this is a 2.0 off-white to white pages. It's the first appearance of Wally West and Weather Wizard. Crazy thing about this book that I don't really love is the rusty rustiness. So I would love to get rid of this book when I have found a replacement. So first book that we have is this 2.0. We are one for five so far. And now we're looking for a 2.5, which I have a 2.5. Got this in a trade with Comics for Trade. This is Superman number 15. Once again, off-white to white pages. This book is from 1941 and 42. Nope, nope, just 1942. Looks like it needs some love and attention. I bet I know just the guy who could make this book look pretty incredible. All right, 3.0. I'm going to show a couple because I've got some really cool... 3.0s. All right, I got this one from Comics for Trade as well. This is Superman number four. It's a 3.0 from 1940, spring of 1940. A really, really cool book. This is the second appearance of Lex Luthor. Really cool ad on the back. So I'll probably put this one up here just because I, if I could put Golden Age up here, I love Golden Age. I'm going to put Golden Age. One of my favorite, favorite characters in all of comic books, Hal Jordan, the first appearance of Hal Jordan. Got this from Thanatos Comics, bought it back in the day from him, cream to off-white pages, 3.0, really, really nice showcase, 22. Love that book. Love Hal Jordan. Um, got introduced to him, uh, or really, really enjoying the story from my buddy Theology Geek, Justin. And yeah, he just, uh, he got me pumped about Green Lantern during the Jeff Johns run. And this is Brave and the Bold 28, the first appearance of the Justice League of America. 3.0 Off-White Pages also got this from Thanatos, cover or centerfold detached. That's uh, one of the markings there on the CBCS case. But great books, and I'm gonna add that Superman number four to the list. How could I talk about 3.0s without talking about this book too? So Boy Commandos number one. Oh my gosh, this is such a great book. The thing I love about this is the first appearance of Liberty Bell and a great Jack Kirby, Joe Simon cover. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, 3.0 off-white to white pages from winter of 1942. Great World War II cover. These mid-grades are going to be the ones where I have a ton of them. So we're looking for a 3.5 right now. So the one I'm going to put up on the board is Superman number 11. And this is from 1941. Half page ad for Flash, All Flash Quarterly number one, which I just sent mine to Kenny Sanderson at Sanderson Studios. He's doing some awesome spine roll correction. And so yeah, Superman number 11, 3.5. So that's the one I'll put up here and add to the board up here. Just got this recently off the short box app. Is this Unknown World number one from 1952. Really great Norm Saunders cover. 
So yeah, 3.5 cream to off-white pages. All right, so I'm gonna start with Blue Beetle number one, Charlton Comics, the first appearance of The Question, 4.0, um, off-white to white pages. Been wanting this book for a long time. Love these Charlton Hero comics. Um, Steve Ditko creation here, cover and art, really, really cool. We've got this nice Action Comics, number 252, 4.0, um, cream to off-white pages from 1959. Really, really great first appearance of Supergirl. Brave and the Bold, number 54, the first appearance of the Teen Titans. 4.0 off-white pages. Black Terror number eight, really great Nazi cover from 1944, off-white pages, Alex Schomburg cover. Get yourself a sweet wallet on the back. Superman number nine, kind of the book that really started my craze on wanting to collect all of these early Superman. You know, pretty much two through 11 was the goal. So here is Superman number, number nine, creamed off-white pages from 1941. Got this next one from New Force Comics. Superman number three, cream to off-white pages from winter of 1940. And the one I'm going to add to the wall behind me is this All-Star Comics number eight. Beautiful, beautiful book. 4.0, off-white pages. First appearance of Wonder Woman. Here's some really cool 4.5s. This is Captain Marvel Adventures number 42. 4.5 and it's from 1945. It says auto binder 11170 written on first page in pen. So it's signed. Really, really great book. Batman 181. This is the first appearance of Poison Ivy. I got this from Champion City Collectibles. 4.5 off white pages from 1966. Green Lantern number 85. This is the drug issue from 1971, 4.5, cream to off-white pages, Neil Adams cover. And the book that I'll be adding to the wall is Brick Bradford, number six, credited to Alex Schomburg as the cover artist, King Feature Syndicate from 1948, really great robot cover. So I'll be adding this to the wall to represent my 4.5 collection. Here's the update. We didn't start very strong but we're doing really well right now. So I'm going to 5.0s right now. I found the one that I'm adding to the wall. Let's see if I can find any other 5.0s just to supplement and show more. I have a 5.0 like right below uh, the computer here, but I'm not gonna show that because I haven't shown it in a video yet. It, it'll be the next video out. Um, this is Archie number 50. I got the under copy from Collecto 6. So he upgraded his copy. And so I got this really great under copy from him. So, so happy. This is a book that I was just really, really wanting. Headlights, classic, good girl, Bob Montana cover from 1951. Gotta love Archie, Betty, Veronica, Jughead, all the good, all the good stuff. Archie 50, one of the classic, classic good girl covers in, in all of Golden Age. So that one will be added to the wall right there. So for 5.5, off-white pages. Captain Adam number 83 from Charlton Comics, 1966. Got this from the great uh, Big River Comic Con this last year in 2021. So I'll be there again. This is the first appearance of Blue Beetle. I'll be at the Big River Comic Con again in Hannibal, Missouri in April this year. True Life Secrets, really, really hard to find. Good Girl cover. And this is a Charlton Comics from 1954. True Life Secrets number 23. Got this from Good Old Comics. 5.5 off-white to white pages. Leon Winnick and Ray Ors Osrin. Classic cover. Cool ads on the back. Just trying to figure out what she needs to do to get that necklace. But the one I'm going to add to the wall is another Silver Age Detective Comics. Number 359, the first appearance of Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. 5.5 off-white to white pages. Added that one, great book to the wall. I know I have a lot of 6.0s as well, so we're moving on to 6.0. Here's another 5.5. America's Best Comics, Alex Schomburg cover, Nidor from 1945. All right, so for 6.0s, we have Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, 6.0. I think I got this from Jeremy Edwards at one point. 
Creamed Off-White Pages from 1970. First cameo of Darkseid. Love this book from Rogue 121. It's a white pager, 6.0 white pages. It's Flash 139. It's the first appearance of Reverse Flash. Great book. Got it from really good friend in the community, Rogue 121. Now, I have got a little rant on this one. This is Hawkman 4. I bought this like, and it was one of the first books I think I showed in all of my comics like so if you go back to the very first video i think this one is in that video as far as the haul i got it either like right before that haul or like somewhere in there but this one is one of the very first books that i probably showed on youtube it's hawkman number four 6.0 off-white uh, pages from 1964 now here is my here's my deal it's a gardner fox story murphy anderson cover and art it's the first appearance of a very particular character. Now, I don't always get everything right. And you guys will probably be like, hey, I remember when you did this and it was wrong. You idiot, blah, blah, blah. If you're getting your comic knowledge from someone who calls the character first appearance in this story, Zantana, I would look elsewhere at where you're getting your comic book knowledge. There is no N there before the T. It's Z-A-T, Zatanna. Z-A-T-A-N-N-A, Zatanna, not Zantana. And if you ever hear it pronounced Zantana, it must be like, I don't know. I don't know where that accent or where that pronunciation is from. It's like aluminum versus aluminum. Maybe it's just a different thing. But if you're getting, sorry for the rant. If you're getting your comic knowledge from somebody who says Zantana and who thinks that is correct, Zatanna. I apologize. That is really pretty trashy of me to say that. But anyways, it was fun regardless. Hopefully you enjoyed that rant. I, like I said, full disclaimer, I don't get everything right at all. I get often stuff, a lot of stuff wrong. And if you're thinking about giving me a thumbs down because of that rant, I don't see those anymore because YouTube took away that feature. Unless I go into like my analytics, I really won't see them. So anyways, thank you guys for your support and for giving me a chance to just have a little fun here. All right, first one up for 6.5 is Green Lantern 76. Really, really great classic Neil Adams cover. And this is the birth or the introduction into the Bronze Age of comics. A little edgier, a little bit more real. 6.5 off-white to white pa pages from 1970. In the same breath, you've got Green Lantern 87, 6.0 cream to off-white pages. First appearance of John Stewart and second appearance of Guy Gardner. Really, really great book. Love that book. New Gods, number one, got this from the massive Silver and Bronze Age collection. This is from 1971. First appearance of Orion and a bunch of other people. 6.5 white pages. Now this one probably should go up on the wall. This is 6.5. Captain Marvel Adventures, number 55. This is my very first and only pedigree copy. This is the Davis Crippen D copy pedigree from CGC. There is the D right there. That denotes this pedigree. And on the back, you've got from Heritage Auctions, the letter of authenticity on this pedigree. Very, very cool book. But the one that is going up on the wall is a book that I got locally, buying tons and tons of stuff from him. Um, this is Ghost Rider number one from 1950. 6.5 off-white pages. Beautiful, beautiful book. Love this thing. This thing is just awesome. Really cool watches on the back. This will be going up on the wall. All right, really great early, early Huntress cover. This is DC Superstars number 17 from 1977. So it is 7.0 off-white to white pages. It is the marriage of Earth 2, Batman, and Catwoman, origin of Green Arrow and Huntress. The one that's going to go up on the wall is a gift that I got from Man Cave Comics. It looks like it was a Calvin McIntyre owned book at one point. But this is 7.0 cream to off-white pages from 1943. Just gift, really nice gift from Man Cave Comics. Really do appreciate this. Awesome, awesome 7.0. Missed the first four and then have hit every single other one beyond that. I've jinxed myself. I don't have a 7.5, so I'm going to have to X that one out. First X in quite a while. Okay, so here's my 8.0. We've got All-Star Comics number 58, the first appearance of Power Girl. Really cool book here. It continues on that All-Star Comics after years and years 
of um, not being published. 8.0 off white to white pages from 1976. Okay, so there is the wall so far. That is Hawkman number four and Ghost Rider number one. Going to give a check mark on the 8.5. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to take down the top part. All right, we are at 9.0. What do we have for 9.0? I see one. Nothing in that box. Looks like we're going to start to see a lot more modern books. 9.0, I have this Harley Quinn number one, Adam Hughes variant for this new 52. And it's from 2014. 9.0 white pages. Really great Adam Hughes variant cover. All right, so here's the 9.2s. We've got Next Men number 21, the first appearance of Hellboy. 9.2, white pages from 1993. First color appearance of Hellboy. The Killing Joke from 1988. Alan Moore story, Brian Bolin cover and art. Really, really fantastic classic read. 9.2 white pages. And the one that's going on the wall, I've got another copy of this. Very, very awesome book. This is a Batgirl number 12, 9.2 white pages from 2010. Art germ cover, really great art germ cover. This one, if you remember, is my very first CGC submission, 8.5, because everything got corner crunched. And so he's got freaking issues, got a nice grade bump after his pressing and cleaning. And I did, by the way, after getting uh, it fixed, I did notify CGC that these were no longer valid and that I had cracked them out and that they were no longer needed for the census information. So they appreciated that and they corrected their census. Okay, first one up. This one also was an 8.0. He's got freaking issues. Pressed and cleaned it. Got me a 9.4 white pages after the corner crunch damage of doom in my very, very first submission. I do have a 9.8 of this as well. Really great classic Adam Hughes. Convergence Zero. Really great Adam Hughes. This one was an 8.5, got a grade bump to 9.4. Vampirella 19, just an awesome, awesome book here. White Pages variant, Lucio, uh, Lucio Perillo. I would put this one on the wall, but I've got another one that I wanna put up there. So this one's A1, the Reading Willows, number one, 9.4 White Pages, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, very, very rare art germ. Variant. Got this from David from Beyond the Blast Doors as a gift. 9.4 white pages. Really appreciated that. Love this poly bag. Um, J. Scott Campbell for this Harley's uh, Little Black Book from 2016. The one I'll be adding to the wall is this Batman Adventures number 12. The first appearance of Harley Quinn. 9.4 white pages. Awesome book. Okay, we're looking for 9.6. Got a nice variety of 9.6s. The first one is Wonder Woman. 184. This one was the Press and Clean from a 9.0. He's got freaking issues. Thank you so much. I believe he's got freaking issues. Also, press this one. 9.6 Batgirl 23, Joshua Middleton cover. He also did this one too. Power Girl 27, really great Warren Lau cover. This one is my highest Batgirl number 12, 9.6 white pages. And I believe he's got freaking issues. Did this one as well. This is Tomb Raider number 33, 9.6 white pages, Adam Hughes cover. So the one that I will add to the wall is, I'll add this Middleton cover to the wall. Okay, here's a couple nine eights. Here is Supergirl number 12, signed by Art Germ. Can't remember who I got this one from, but I believe it was from one of the New York Warriors. 9.8, I think I will put this one up on the board. As my 9.8. Then you have Catwoman number 51, 9.8. Really great Adam Hughes cover. And Stars and Stripes Zero, the first appearance of Stargirl. Awesome, awesome. Very, very cool. It's a Jeff Johns story, Jeff Johns creation. Yeah. First professional work of Jeff Johns. That's really cool. All right, so putting a check mark at 9.8. And then believe it or not, I actually have a 9.9. This is an old PGX label, 9.9. This book really is beautiful, flawless, amazing. 9.9, Justice Society of, of America. So JSA classified number one. I remember when this book came out, it looks like it came out in 2005. I remember like trying to find this one on the shelves at the dealers, but all I could find was like the second print um, sketch variant, so. Happy to have this one, 9.9. 9. 
PGX 9.9. .9. Awesome, awesome book. And that is it, you guys. One other person that I thought about uh, while I was doing this was Dressier. I think Dressier has got a really nice, vast collection as well. So you've got Automatic Comics, Double A, Geek Aficionado, Comics with Bonics, and Dressier. So five people. Everyone else, do the video. It's awesome. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button. Um, hit that like, you guys. Comment down below what you thought of this. If you're planning on doing one, I'd love to hear about it. Link yours in the description below here, too. Would love to see all the videos I possibly can. And thanks to We Love Comics for tagging me in this really, really fun video. Thanks for helping me go through my collection and just appreciate the things that I have. I will talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.